Well, hey. we've talked about sports. <laughs> but what's sports. the best? Yes, but what's the par best part of a sports show? It's obviously predictions. I love predictions. I'm really good at predictions. Okay, so <laughs> six questions, three each, 15 seconds, and we give you our take. Ladies get to answer first. ASU, Oregon State. Uh, Oregon State ended ASU's winning streak in Corvallis. What did that mean for who? What did that game mean? More for. Who did it mean more for? Yeah, no, I get what you're saying. Yeah, <laughs> I think My words twisted up. I know, I know. I think it's more on Oregon State. They are obviously a power program. When they came into that game, they were ranked eight and nine. Yeah. So obviously tough, but I think women's basketball, the ASU team, they're gonna be able to come back from yeah. this. Now, let's switch it over to men's. So I'm a little bit more well-versed uh, in. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, I don't think they're going to make the NCAA tournament, but can they make any tournament at all? I think they will make the NIT if they play better in the Pac-12, uh, the rest of their Pac-12 schedule, and have a good showing in the Pac-12 tournament. Now, ASU hockey, is that season a success or a failure? Success, because they made it to Division One. That's Obviously, fair. that's a big accomplishment. They should be proud of that. Failure, because they probably should have won more than five games, and if you're going to make a name for yourself in Division One, get a few more under your belt. Makes sense. Now, Things are going to start heating up at the diamond. Yeah. We've got softball. We've got baseball. Who's going to have the better season? i got to go with Tracy Smith, one of the best uh, <laughs> Twitter accounts in ASU, like on all the athletics department. <laughs> yeah. And Colby Woodmansey, that, that lineup is going to rake. I mean, they won't Absolutely. have the same pitching, but they can swing the bat. Now, curtain of distraction. We had Michael Phelps there. Who's your dream guest? Uh, let's keep it within ASU athletics. I think James Harden would be great in that curtain. Uh, he could, I think, be very distracting. Yeah. Fear the beard, you know, okay, all that. I can see that. I can yeah, see that. I think that's... that's that's the good pick. Now, I don't know if you've heard, there's a big football game this weekend. That's right. A really big one. Carolina Panthers, Denver Broncos, who you got? Oh. oh okay. Uh, <laughs> I, think I've got, I think I've got the sheriff on this one. Okay, that's But fair. let's see who they have for winning the way it is. Who got it? Anyone? Uh, I'm, I'm like nervous. I don't know. What's happening? Oh, I knew that oh, was going to come. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. National Signing Day is a spectacle to say the least, but the bare minimum is rarely the standard in college football. At times, players hesitate and change their mind before signing, but not four-star safety Deontay Anderson. He was so excited about committing to Ole Miss that he was willing to jump out of an airplane, and so he did. If you haven't seen the video on Bleacher Report, check it out. It's everything Signing Day has become, outrageous and over the top, and some of it is unnecessary, but hey, that's the way it is.